Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R750 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on iDRAC. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. I just want a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R750 server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. This video will be specifically dedicated to iDRAC. If you're not familiar with iDRAC, that is the integrated Dell Remote Access Controller. That is essentially how you will remote in from a faraway place. It would be similar to ILO for HPE or IPMI for Supermicro. And what we're gonna do in this video as a whole is we are gonna start by going over the different types of iDRAC licenses. Then we're gonna show you how to identify which type you have if you're not sure. Then we're going to show you how to log into the iDRAC web interface and then we're going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to upgrade your license. So let's just go ahead and hop in. So what type of licenses are there? Well there is a well, really, technically, there's a basic one that no one ever talks about, but really, there's Express, which is the real lowest end one. There's Enterprise, and there's Data Center, which is also not really well known or very prevalent, I should say. It has some extra security features. In fact, let's go ahead and throw up a list right now of some of the extra uh, extra stuff that you get with Data Center. But the real two that most people are looking at are going to be Express and Enterprise. And Enterprise is what you're going to need to be able to log in from a faraway place, and that's the license that most people are buying is Enterprise if they do have Express. So what we'll do now is show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to upgrade it, but we'll first start by showing you how to identify what type of license you have. All right, so now we're going to do is show you how to upgrade your iDRAC license from basic management to enterprise. What you're going to need is a laptop or desktop, a switch that has an active internet connection, some Cat5 cables to run from switch to the iDRAC port and to the laptop or desktop. What we'll also need is an enterprise iDRAC license. This can be found on cloudninja.com. We do sell enterprise licenses licenses for Dell 12th gen, 13th gen, 14th gen, 15th gen servers. So if you need one, please feel free to reach out to sales at cloudnews.com and we can help you out there. This should be in the form of an XML file. So if you're not sure if you need a new license and you need to find out what type of iDRAC you have, we'll start by showing you that. So what you want to do is boot up your server. On the post screen, you're going to press F2 and this is going to take you to system setup. Once you get into system setup, you're going to select iDRAC settings and navigate to system summary. Under system information, look for the iDRAC license. Here's where it will tell you what type of license your 15th gen server has. We have a basic management license and we're going to upgrade it to an enterprise license. All right, so now we need to set up the network before we can do the upgrade. So what we need to do is set up our switch and run the Cat5 cable from the switch to the 15th gen iDRAC port. Note this is not to the network port, it is to the iDRAC port, and we need to run a second cable from the switch to our laptop or our desktop. Right here is an iDRAC card. This is actually removable. Now it's the same card regardless of the license. So when we've talked about our licenses, Express and Enterprise and Data Center, you're gonna have the same card in here, but your iDRAC is an actual physical card that is removable now. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to set your iDRAC DHCP IP address for your 15th gen server. So boot up your server and from the post screen, press F2 to take you to system setup. Inside system setup, you're gonna select iDRAC settings and navigate down to network. Scroll down to IPv4 settings. Enable IPv4 should be set to enabled and enable DHCP should also be set to enabled and use DHCP to obtain DNS server address should also be set to enabled. You can now go back to your iDRAC settings and click finish to save the settings. You're gonna reboot your server. Once the server reboots, you're gonna go back and press F2 to get back into the system setup. You're gonna go into iDRAC settings, network, scroll down to IPv4 settings and note down the IP address that the iDRAC is using. You will need the IP address in the next step. All right, well now for the fun stuff, we're gonna actually show you how to upgrade from basic management to enterprise. You're gonna go into your web browser, navigate to the IP address we wrote down earlier during iDRAC DHCP setup. In this video, we're using 172.16.100.240, but will be different for you at home. This will take you to the iDRAC login page. Dell supplies all servers with a default username and default password. The default username is going to be root R O O 
T, all lowercase, and the default password is Calvin, C-A-L-V-I-N, all lowercase. After logging in using those credentials, you're going to be prompted to create a new username and password. Make sure you remember your username and password. For purposes of this video, we're just going to leave the login the same and click continue. This is going to bring you to the iDRAC home screen. Under system information, look for license. It will show you the license the server currently has. On top of the home screen, go to the configuration tab and then licenses. Once in the licenses menu, under license options, select the import option. This will prompt you to choose a file and we will select the .xml file that we obtained at the beginning. The license will import in and all we will need to do is log out and log back in. Once we're logged back in, check the license type at the top of the screen. It should now say Enterprise. Congratulations, we've successfully installed iDRAC Enterprise into our 15th gen server. Well, hey, if you found this video helpful, do us a favor, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we sell new and we sell used and we would love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. Thanks for stopping by guys, take care.